Barbed wire and high fences are in the past for Corey Cardinal. He's the founder of Inmates for Humane Conditions, and he's been advocating for prisoner rights across the province from here, the Saskatoon Provincial Correctional Centre. While he's no longer an inmate, he's going to keep fighting for those incarcerated. He says there's work to do addressing issues, including a lack of medical care and overall support. That work will bring him here to the Pine Grove Correctional Center next week, as Cardinal is one of the people organizing a demonstration outside of the facility. The public has a right to know how inmates are treated. The public has a right to know besides the edited version that comes from the Ministry of Public Relations. And um, I think it's important to understand how what goes on in the correctionals because it's prevalent. Uh, it affects the community as a whole. Some inmates at Pine Grove Correctional Center are currently refusing food to protest their treatment. One woman on her seventh day of refusing food claims inmates are being treated poorly and have limited medical access. She says the failing system needs to be reviewed. We want an internal investigation for sure done in here about all the complaints that go into the staff, that go in about the health care, like nothing is being done about that and we just want people to know like what's happening in here. A statement from the Ministry of Corrections says inmates have access to medical care while incarcerated. It also says inmates refusing food are under constant medical supervision. The corrections portfolio got some attention on budget day with more than $4 million allocated for COVID-19 expenses and 76 allocated for improvements across the system, including a new remand center here in Saskatoon. Morgan Majeski, CBC News, Saskatoon.